Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from todaysiphone.com, and today I'm going to be going over my top five tweaks for your iPhone 5 and its lock screen. Now, I want to mention that these tweaks are in no order, and I also want to mention that the tweaks will not all work together. So, something like IntelliScreen X and Lock Info 5 will not work together. Something like Unfold and Android Lock XT aren't going to work together. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. And then I can also slide over to the right, and I can see my Twitter feed right from here. And if I want to comment on something I can oh, tap phone dog and I can retweet it I can reply I can get a link for it so we'll retweet it bam so that was just retweeted um, you can also link in your Facebook again because of privacy and people's names and all that kind of stuff I didn't link it into my IntelliScreen plus I have so many people on Facebook they're always updating I feel like it might burn my battery I haven't tested it but I just don't use it because of that um, so I just keep my Twitter there um, and then right at the top you see the weather everything looks nice and you can at any point in time slide up if you want and that is IntelliScreen X there are a whole bunch of settings for it so you can go into the application and uh, go to IntelliScreen X settings and here you are you can put in RSS feeder your mail all kinds of cool little uh, settings you guys can play with but um, the one thing I want to mention is it also has integration with Byte SMS and it also has its own uh, quick reply system, which is really nice and I really enjoy it. Um, however, I primarily use Byte SMS, so it does support using uh, Byte SMS as an extension for the messaging features built into IntelliScreen X. Okay, so the second tweak we're going to be taking a look at is Android Lock XT, which literally does what the tweak says. It's going to create an Android Lock style lock screen for your iOS device. You can change the pattern and customize it how you want. Currently, I have this pattern, so we'll go ahead and create a new one. Ooh, fancy. So we'll go in. We have a new pattern here. Now, it does uh, note that you should relock your uh, phone twice to make sure the settings go through. So you can change the appearance and theme it how you want as well. Um, but here we go. So we'll do it one, two, three for good luck. We'll slide over. So now there's my Android Lock XT. And bam, I'm into my iOS device. So that's Android Lock XT. So the third tweak we're going to be taking a look at is Unfold, which creates a really nice animation when you slide to unlock your device. Um, it does have settings here. You can decide how many slices you want in the folding feature. It can fold up um, or it just folds horizontally like you're used to. So I have it enabled. Here is it by default. It looks like this. It just looks nice. I like that. Now if I want to add it up to 10 or, yep, sorry. Oh, it goes more. How high can we make it go? Ooh. 20. Okay, so we'll do 20 folds here. And you guys can see the creases in the lock, uh, right up by the clock there. Um, so I like it down at four, personal preference. Uh, default looks great. I do like the fold vertically feature. It is very nice. It, it looks cool. It's different. So you just go up and it folds out out of your way and you're into your iOS device. So that is unfold. Now the fourth tweak we're going to be checking out is style unlock, which allows you to use gestures to unlock your iOS device. So we'll go into the settings here and configure it. Now I currently have it so that there will be no unlock uh, knob and there it, the slider is hiding. Um, so now I want to select my gesture. Let's go ahead and we'll do pinch with two fingers. So I go back my iOS device, no slider knob, no slide to unlock. If I do it, nothing's happening. Unfortunately, this is a disadvantage to me showing you guys my screen. You can't see my finger going across, but I promise it's not unlocking. Pinch my fingers together and I'm into my device. Uh, it just is something unique. I do enjoy it and it's free. So go check out Style Unlock. So that's going to so that's gonna take us to our fifth and final tweak, which is Lock Info. Lock Info is a very nice looking tweak. You guys can see it right here. Uh, one of my favorite things about Lock Info is how it separates your notifications here. I can tap to see my mail. I can tap to see my Tweetbot notifications. I can tap to see my Cinegram notifications, and I can tap to see them all. I really like how it does that because it just makes navigating around my notifications on my lock screen that much faster and quicker. Um, when you go over here, then that's when you get your widgets there, or you know your tap to tweet, tap to post those. Um, if you do have widgets, you can integrate them in as well into Lock Info Five. Um, so we'll go back to my notifications here, and you can actually just clear them all. And they'll be gone. So now mail is cleared. And you can do this for all of them. See, we'll just clear them all. Bam, done. And that's something I really like about Lock Info. It's really quick to get rid of all your notifications. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are the top five tweaks that I would recommend you use on your lock screen. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as well. I'll be sure to respond to them. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Matt Sholley. I am going to actually be giving out tweaks or paying for people's tweaks in the near future here. So uh, go ahead and follow me there if you want to participate. 
Otherwise, you guys have a wonderful day, and as always, peace!